Hello everybody, I'm Ken Francis, California Licensed Marriage and Family Therapist. I have been working in the addiction and trauma field since 1988. So I've been around for quite a while. And one of the things that I see that really helps people to be successful in recovery is putting action into the recovery. I know some people take a little bit longer to get into the action phase of recovery, but I've seen a lot of people that just never get there. They're still somewhat in denial, thinking that by sitting in a chair, going to a meeting, watching a video, that somehow recovery and change will miraculously come to them. Unfortunately, it doesn't always work that way. Have you heard a podcast or watched a video and you liked it and you could relate, you felt good, but then what? Do you just go on to the next video? Do you pick up one self-help book after another? I know a lot of people that have read a lot more psychology books than I have. You can have all this knowledge in your head, but if you don't put it into action, you don't apply it, are you any better off? This is where we look at the difference between discovery and recovery. We can discover all the things that are wrong with us. We can discover where the core is of the beginnings of where our pain started or where our addiction started. We can understand all of that. But unless we actually do work to help us reprocess this information, reprocessing our memories, reprocessing our trauma, we're most likely not going to change. I believe that one way to identify growth in recovery is by reviewing the ACA laundry list. The laundry list has a really good benchmark to see kind of like where you are and where you need to heal. The laundry list, those 14 traits, give you an idea of what's working for you and what are the rough edges? A lot of people look at this list of 14 traits and can totally identify. I had one person tell me it was the first time he's ever scored 100% on a test. This is a good barometer of looking at where are you starting from. And if you've been in the program three months, six months, a year, five years, I believe the whole purpose of ACA is to make that laundry list obsolete. I've created just a really simple checklist of looking back and judging, like on a scale of zero to 10, where were you with trait number one when you first came into recovery? Trait number two, scale of zero to 10, where were you in your early recovery? And now judge where you are. How far have you come? Is this laundry list trait still rearing its ugly head as much as it did in the beginning? Or can you see that you've kind of moved past that? You've grown. You no longer react the same way that you did before. And I know talking about putting recovery into action might sound scary for some people because what do we need to do? We need to change our thoughts, our feelings and our actions. And sometimes we have to start with our core beliefs to work on changing our thoughts. Sometimes we need to look at examining our emotions when our emotions maybe get the best of us and we need to learn tools to just ride them through. Or we need to look at what are our actions? Are we putting ourselves in harm's way? Do we still repeatedly do the same thing expecting to get a different outcome? How do we change these three things? Simple ways to do it are by rigorously working the 12 steps or maybe doing something for trauma reprocessing such as EMDR therapy or psychodrama. The healing begins when we risk moving out of isolation. How many people get stuck in the don't trust rule and because of that never seek out a sponsor or a mentor or even a therapist to guide them on their journey. 
I really do think part of the action has to come in taking that step. And if for some reason you get a sponsor or a therapist or fellow traveler or whatever you want to choose and it doesn't work out, to keep trying. Remember, trust is not an on-off switch. It's a dimmer switch that you slowly have to turn up. But if you stay in isolation, you are not putting recovery into action. Albert Einstein even said, life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you have to keep moving. And movement is a form of action. I can subscribe to all the bicycling magazines out there. I can subscribe to travel magazines. I can read travel books. I can look at travel YouTubes or travel bicycling YouTubes. But until I actually start training, until I actually start putting my gear together, my trips aren't going to happen. I have to be the one to put action in my life if I want my trips to happen. Do you have a favorite YouTuber or podcaster? And after listening to them, do you just continue to hear their latest podcast or watch their video? Or do you actually then start talking about this with other people and putting what you have absorbed into change and action in your life? I can think about cleaning my house. I can think about washing my car. I can think about getting a haircut, but until I get myself out and into that barber's chair, it doesn't happen. Have you put your recovery into tangible action? Have you actually started working the steps? Have you done any type of trauma reprocessing such as EMDR or psychodrama? Have you broken the trust barrier by beginning to work with a therapist or a sponsor? Have you stopped using words like narcissist and alcoholic to define the people that are in your life? Because by using those labels, you're focusing more on them and you're not paying attention to your own resentments and the emotions that fuel those resentments. We don't heal until we take action to look inward upon ourselves. That doesn't happen when we're labeling other people. If you get anything from any of my videos, I hope it's inspiration to put your life into action, to grow, to enjoy your life, to reach goals that maybe you never thought were possible, and to work on being the best or favorite version of yourself. And if you like my videos, please share them and hit the subscribe button because it does help the videos to reach other people. Now that you've watched this video, please go out and do something. Do something new. Do something extraordinary. Do something that maybe you've been putting off or that you've been afraid of. Call somebody, say hello, text somebody, see if somebody else is having a good day. Put yourself out there to do something different. Leave me a message in the comments. Let me know what is it you've done or what works for you so that you can share that with other people. I'm Ken and as always, thank you for watching.